What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Got this new format, Premier Remix Draft Artifacts. It is, well, let's read it. Welcome to Remix Draft, a new limited format pulling from across all sets on Arena. This is Artifacts, where the spotlight is on artifacts across the multiverse. So it is going to be a nonsensical artifact theme um, format. I'm not going to really read over the archetypes. We're just going to jump right in cold and see if we can build some spicy brews. I'm a big fan of artifacts, so this should be a fun one. Nice change of pace from the current formats. Uh, we'll bring it back when we get our pick one, pack one. All right, here we are for round, sorry, pack one, pick one of our Artifacts Matter draft. And yeah, look at that. That is a lot of artifacts. There's, in fact, there are very few non-artifacts in this uh, pack and the ones that there are do have some synergy. Obviously, Captain Lannery makes artifacts. Trail of Crumbs makes artifact. Disenchant blows up artifacts. I guess this is the only one that really doesn't have some artifact theme, although there are a bunch of 1 1 counters, of course. So, this is going to be not exactly like a cube, but I think it's going to be closer to a cube than it is to like a regular draft format. Um, I don't actually know if Captain Lannery's Storm is where you want to go. Like, Patchwork Automaton seems like a pretty good pick one, pack one for some, like, artifact aggro. There aren't going to be as many, like, big bombs, presumably. So your, your deck's going to be filled with mainly commons and uncommons. Um, but I think you can really lean into the, the synergy plan. Okay, so... We saw a Chrome Courier in the previous pack, I'm pretty sure. Now, remember, this is from Modern Horizons 2. Um, which means this is, again, not like a true cube, as you can, I guess, get duplicates. Arcanist's Owl is pretty good, right? Four mana, three, three flyer. Look at the top four. And you can put in Artifact or Enchantment from among them into your hand. Tusker's obviously insane. So there's some obviously good, I keep saying obviously, there's some very clear plus one plus one counter matters deck in the format as well. Borak for the prolif proliferate. I think I just want to lean into the artifacts though. And when I think of artifacts, I think of blue-white generally. So I'm going to take the owl here and maybe lean into that plan. There's a spyglass siren, ancestral blade, untethered express, kind of gross. Let's take the Siren here. It makes an artifact, though it does not uh, trigger like the Patchwork Automaton itself. Okay. Rebel was quite good. I think I like taking Map here. It's an artifact that finds you a land, but it also lets you um, kind of shave on lands in your deck. So having one map already, I don't, I'm not going to mind running like 16 lands already, you know? Yeah, this is cool. I think I'm going to like this format a lot. It's going to be like a weird cube-ish draft format. And uh, especially in this type of draft format, um, if you jump into the open lane, your deck is probably going to be absurd. I doubt I'm going to be in the correct necessarily colors for my first draft here as I'm kind of forcing blue-white. Um, but the more drafts of this format that you do, I think the... Uh, the more keen you're going to be on drafting the correct pairings. Fleeting Memories. So there is, in fact, some kind of clue deck. Right? This card wouldn't be in here if there were very few ways to make clues. In fact, we saw the Wave Sifter already from Modern Horizons 2. So there's one way. More green, proliferate, plus one, plus one counter nonsense, Bloom Hulk. This is like the second or third alloy mirror we've seen. I'm going to take the spell bomb here, I think, over the barricade breaker. Cogwork Wrestler is probably pretty good. Oh, Volt Surge is nice. Voltage Surge, I guess. <laughs> Glutton's in this. Witch Stalker. It is feeling like green is underdrafted currently, but I'm going to stick with the blue plan for now. What does this one do again? Plus 2 plus 0 oh for each other modified creature you control. So plus 1 plus 1 counters do count. I don't even know what this does. Experimental Confectioner. 3 mana, 2, 3. ETB make a food. Whenever you sack a fruit, food, you make one of the... Okay. Rats. Um, 
Is prototype playable? Maybe? This is the point where I would consider hedging and drafting a different color, but I think I like sticking with what I'm doing here. Return an artifact or creature with that value three less from your grave to the battlefield. If it's a creature, it enters with an additional 1 1 counter. That's not bad. It's the third Fierce Witch Stalker. Okay. Candy Trail's not terrible, or we can take the uh, Mist Vault Bridge. We don't have to be playing white. I mean, I could take like the Tawashi Song Shaper and have like some red blue artifact deck. Darn, a red blue deck. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm probably supposed to take the land here, the artifact land at that. Jeez. The Wave Sifter comes back around. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Courier is all that important. But I can't imagine Brute Suit being... Well, I guess it's an artifact. It has the synergies. A couple Malthus squads in our sideboard. Opening the Cloud Steel Kirin. Not a bad rare to open. Just not like a, an amazing rare. Oh, ongoing investigation. That's really cool. Let's see here. Courier again. The Arcbound Tracker from uh, Modern Horizons 2. Whenever you cast a spell other than your first spell each turn, you put a 1 1 counter on it, and it's got modular. So, modular of an extremely powerful uh, artifact ability if you've never played with that. So, once this creature dies, you can move all of its 1 1 counters on another artifact creature. Just gives you a lot of value. Um, but I'm kind of tempted to take the Chrome Courier. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to still just take the Cloud Steel Kirin. I guess we'll just keep leaning into the uh, the blue white for now. Barb Spike, another decent one. So it's a two mana, two one flyer. Um, equipped creature gets plus one plus zero. Oh. It's fine, I guess. Blink Moth Nexus is solid. Oh man, Dowsing Device is actually kind of nuts here too, isn't it? Bolted Surge again, another man, or rather a Justicier. Perilous Mirror. Blink Moth is okay. Should I be taking these red cards now? It's possible I should be taking these red cards. But I kind of like sticking with blue-white because I'm a fish. Citizens Arrest. Not bad removal. Oaken Siren. Yeah, look how many Voltage Surges we've seen. There's another Renegade map here. Ornithopters in the format. I think I like taking the Siren, though. Ah! Oh. Well, I tried to avoid LCI for the longest time. But maybe, maybe Captain Storm now is too much over the top for the red-blue. Gear Seeker Serpent's also fantastic. Can be a very, very cheap 5-6. Yeah, I think Captain Storm's a little bit too strong. What does this one do? Archaeo Mender. Three mana, two, three. Return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand when it enters. Not bad. Another modular card. Not bad. Tracker now after Captain Storm, I guess. Oh, man. The Bladehold War Whip, too. That's a good one. But another tracker for us. Yeah. All right. Let's lock into Red Blue, I suppose. Darn. We can still play this Owl. It's just going to be a little bit harder to cast as a quad blue card. It's kind of neat, the, all the different artifact things you can do. And again, you don't have to be. You can be the, the, the anti-artifact deck, right? How good is the servo schematic? Put into a graveyard. So you need ways to like sacrifice that. I think I'm just taking the Mirror Enforcer here. Just... 4-4 four, four for 7, but affinity for artifacts. Oh, Bone Splitter now, too. Excellent. That just makes any creature relevant, basically. Sorry, hard evidence. Um, The Slasher, I'm not too big on. You can make it a 5-mana five 5-5 five, five modular, or it can be a 5-mana five 4-4 four, four modular haste. I guess that's not terrible. Take a 1-up over all the Perilous Mirrors we've seen. There will be merit to just running off-color artifact lands uh, if you have enough 
cards that care about that, right? Affinity for artifacts, for example. But, it, like, they don't trigger... Oh, they do. Whenever an artifact enters... Oh! Wow. So, yeah, even with Captain Storm, the uh, Honor Horizon artifact lands could be worth it. That is a very nice artifact land to pick up. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder how many affinity cards are in the format that you could draft. It would be really cool if you could do just like a pure affinity type deck. Ah, my punish here is that I've passed so many Volt Surges. Or Voltage Surges, I should say. Another artifact land. Opening the Lodestone Golem, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so there is a lot of redundancy, because we've seen a bunch of these cards again and again. Um, I think I just want a second Spyglass Siren here. Oh, Volt Scourge! Very nice, Phyrexian Mana card. Damn, Vault Scourge is also great. Is Scourge better than Siren, possibly? Because it's an artifact creature at its base. Yeah, that might very well be better. I'm going to do that. It's better with all of our modular. It's great with Bone Splitter. Let's see. Mishra claimed by Gix. It's not what we're looking for. If I had the uh, Dragon Engine, maybe. I think I like taking the, the dowsing device here over second Oaken. Jorkadine. But Halberd looks good here. Let's see, another Renegade map looks good here. Or Reverse Engineer. Improvised draw three, also great. Yeah, let's take the big card draw effect. How good is Pirate Hat now? Three pirates? That's maybe not good enough without a handful of pirates. Uh, and Thraven Inspector. Is my creature count 11? I mean, I don't think Palladium Mirror is going to be any good in this deck. So we could just take this. Whenever a non-token modified creature you control dies, you make a 1-1 spirit. That works with all of our modular creatures or other 1-1 counter otherwise. Mm, ugh, I guess a second one. I don't know if my deck is good. This might actually be bad red blue aggro. Olvenwald Mysteries now. Let's see, Song Shaper's alright. Iron Apprentice is honestly fine. There's a Welding Sparks. That was a good pickup. We are kind of light on the removal, and this is. Should be, a lot of times, three mana, kill any creature. Ooh, Captain Ripley is also very good, isn't it? Ah, it's hard. Whenever you cast your third spell each turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, then it deals damage equal to its power to any target. It's a big setup card. I guess we'll try that over Plundering Pirate. But that's probably not too good overall, I would think. I'm debating how many of these off-color artifact lands to run. Because they help. Let's see. How many cards? Um, three, four, enters, five, let's cast, six. Let's take another song shaper here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that care about these artifact lands. Is that good enough, though? Because some of the artifact value that they get is not really that good, right? Like, maybe I run one of them, but nothing more than that, perhaps. I think three tap lands in this deck might be a little bit much. Yeah, I think I'm only going to run one of them. 
one of the non-double on color lands. So this would give us 10 red sources and 8 blue. That looks about right. Probably want to just go even though. Okay, I mean, this deck looks fine. I'm sure I can get some number of wins with it. This is Premier Draft, by the way, so it is going to be ranked and the season just reset. Yeah, no, this looks like a cool format. Let's uh, let's take our red-blue artifact deck for a spin and see if we can get a decent handful of wins. Let's hope the beatdowns will commence. Yeah, this hand's pretty mid-tier, but it's got a couple two-drops in our removal spell, so... Probably can't mulligan it. It's good. Alright, so we can go Song Shaper this turn, then play the bridge, attack for three, and play Aki Ember Keeper next turn. This is the one that makes a bunch of clues. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield and control, investigate, sack X clues, they reveal X card, you may put a non with that of X, okay. Gonna need to find a little bit more oomph here. There's the byway courier. I think I just attack with the Ember Keeper. Let's go ahead and spark off the uh, Lannis right now. No reason for them to do this, right? Non-land permanent with mana value X or less, yeah. They would need to hit exactly a one drop. Oh, this is not right. And they just got a land. Wait, so does that card go on the bottom now? Is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're not going to sack the map on upkeep then. Perilous Mirror's fine. They're going to evoke their Wave Sifter, even though they're one mana away. Interesting. Uh, that's pretty bad. We need to draw, like, our Reverse Engineer. We're just going to fall behind because of all the clues that they have. I'm sure green has a bunch of ways to kill artifacts, too. What do we want to draw? Like our hasty panther or something? Their courier. Well, that would have been nice earlier. Yeah, okay. It feels like I'm just going to lose to their raw card advantage. They just have four extra cards sitting there at any time. I mean, two mana each time, of course, but still. That saves our Enforcer. I mean, maybe. I'm guessing they're only going to be able to sack a clue here this turn. Yeah, like, we could win next turn. 
What is that? Mycosynth Gardens. Cleanup crew. Oh, that's a good one. All right, the chump take three, go to four. Actually, we don't want to move that. <sighs> they only get to choose one, thankfully, and they're going to have to probably kill my mirror. It would be really aggressive for them to attack this turn, but I don't think it would necessarily be wrong to try to win. And that's where we needed to find something. That's that's the turn that bricked us. Mm. All right. With that, we're probably dead. I actually should be playing out my land in case uh, we draw our reverse engineer card. But I'm guessing we're GG'd here. Yeah, Tusker's gonna kill us. Alright. Mmm, big green doo doos. We need to just draw a little bit more pressure. Could have maybe left the Lawness alive. I think we're good to go though. We'll certainly win a few games of this deck, right? This is cast an artifact. Okay, so... Do you want to lead on the... Oh, they have an ornithopter in their hand or something? Bobble, sure. Do you want to lead on the bridge then, just to... Get our mana online efficiently. And the splitter. Ooh, Captain Ripley. We have a couple of cheap spells in our hand. That could be a thing. Draw another one drop, for example, and we would be able to trigger it already. Okay. Are they going to smack for five? I guess they are. They could have also equipped the Mere Sire to make their blocks really good. Let's see. Oh, we do get to trigger Ripley here, because the dowsing device is going to flip into a land, isn't it? Oh, this is actually nuts. <laughs> wow, that was great. That worked out phenomenally. Genius Mr. Smith. Look, the top four can reveal an artifact and put it in your hand, put the rest on the bottom. Yeah, the artifact lands in this format are super good. Let's give this baby haste. I'm actually okay with uh, 
trading off Captain Ripley for the Smith now. They can chump the Slasher, trade for Ripley, take four, and I'll get an extra 1-1. One, one. Oh, they didn't even chump. Hmm. Well, currently we're going to have three different lethal creatures next turn at this rate. Oh, I guess they didn't chump because they need the artifact for the, uh... Yeah, 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 for the, uh... What's it called? Affinity. So I don't think I can win this turn, but I'm damn close. So they're gonna go chump, chump, trade, and then take two. And with them being stuck on three lands, the Ward 2 of the Automaton here is kind of stupid. All right, good. It was a much better showcasing of our deck, and we even got to trigger uh, Captain Ripley or whatever, so. Sweet stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy this format. Seems like it'll have decent replayability as well. Uh, yeah, definitely a keep. Turn to Automaton is great. Ah, the Inventor's Fair. We're going to hold the map even though we don't have a red source yet. So it's not an artifact itself, but... Veil of Assimilation. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, you control target creature control gets plus one, plus one gains vigilance until end of turn. I don't recall that card being great. Oh, they should have attacked for one in the air first. Whoopsies. I guess we just track this turn now, because we can start triggering that as well. Yeah, man, we really needed those Voltage Surges. They're so good with all the Arcbound creatures. The modular creatures, rather. Nice. What did they hit a Chrome Prowler that taps something. Got Menace. Could just let this trade happen, but I don't think we want to. This is even better for us, of course, if they double block our patch. <laughs> yeah, beating! Beating! I did have fun. You know what? I think we can smile again. It was a rough month or two, but uh, we're back to being okay again. Let's see. Hand looks pretty nice. This is going to be a pretty quick uh, Mirror Enforcer plus Reverse Engineer. Um, okay. Hopefully we just draw a land naturally next turn. Harvester. Mm. 
Oh, did I still end up running 17 lands? I still wanted to go 16, I guess, but oh well. Beginning of your end step, if you attack this turn, reveal the top card put in your hand, you lose life. Okay. Well, if they can't kill Captain Storm here, we should be all right. We're still going to get a Ruin Raider trigger. Whenever you sacrifice another permanent, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Sure. There's a land. And this is just enters, so we do get the combo starting to pop now. Oh! Wow, I can't punish them for waiting. And it only targets the pirate, huh? Okay, good beats. Damn, we're gonna get soloed by that Ruin Raider, which I guess I could have just killed with the Welding Sparks, but... They've gotten kind of fortunate by just hitting land so far. And now a one drop. Ugh. Yeah, I better just Welding Sparks that Ruin Raider. already up three cards on it. Five or six, rather. I think we just gotta go with the draw three here first and hope we hit some goodies. Obviously, we're very close to dead. Trade Chump, lose two artifacts for Mirror Enforcer. I don't think we can get out of this one. I'm not dead on board. Dead to any removal. Doesn't kill me. Okay, maybe. Sure. So those two treasures pump their Gixians. I guess at this point I should sack the map to thin out my deck of land. We didn't scry anything to the bottom, right? Oh, Ariat's Apple, that'll do it. Ah! 
We just fell a little bit far behind because we missed those lands at the beginning. Dang it. I mean, maybe my punt was not killing the Ruin Raider as soon as I hit three lands, but it felt like I needed to develop out my board. Yeah. Ah, missed land drops. Good beats. All right, two and two. Got to get a couple more wins. Certainly could get a couple more wins. Turn one, Servant of the Scale. Okay, so they're going to be maybe on a non-artifact deck to punish the artifact players like myself. Got a nice hand, though, if they don't have too much interaction. Dude, the Serenth Steel Seeker, that card was nice. Wonder how many artifacts they have in their deck. Probably still quite a few. Captured by Lagax. Mmm, the double. Wow, what a curve. None of these are pirates, right? Oh, wait. Ripley is. Man, one drop, two drop, three drop removal, and a proliferate on top? Dude, what? Okay, I mean, they're high rolling, so what can you do? That's insane. Sheesh. Like the perfect one, two, three, four curve from them. <laughs> Ooh, what a beating. All right, this gives me a 1-1 one, one at least. And when this dies, you make... But X counters on target creature you control. All right, so we want to double block this, I guess. I'm going to get a 1-1. One, one, I go to 6. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. Alright, if they draw land next turn, we might have a chance. Curve out was real gross, but we might be able to stabilize here. <sighs> Not bad, that was a great draw as well. I did it on this way, so the tracker got a 1 1 counter, but we did lose a counter on the Oaken Siren. But this creature has modular, so it makes sense to do this this way. Well, that's annoying. Okay. So first strike's gonna kill our tracker, and then we get to modular on the siren and eat their servant. Then the servant's gonna put its three counters somewhere else. Let's see if they spread up their threats or they just go all in on Danatha. Not great. Seven seven first strike lifelink vigilance pretty good. We are due for some lands. Man. 
All right. Well, opponent's draw was just a little bit too strong. What a curve out. Yeah, good beats. Hey. Nothing we could do about that. What a freaking draw, dude. We're supposed to chump with the suit and pray that we rip something good. I don't know what we can draw at this point, though. And it's definitely not that. All right, good beats. Ah, I mean, we we drew twice as many lands as they did, or pretty close to. And eh, no, I guess the dowsing device. Even still, their initial curve out was very, very insane, and we got absolutely obliterated. So, darn it. Well, I thought that deck was cool, but maybe uh. Maybe it wasn't all that good. It looks like some of those other strategies can also do some really hefty lifting. But you know what? That was still enjoyable. So we're going to probably play this event for the next few days at least because it uh, seems like there are a lot of cool archetypes that you can try out even if it's um, more of an artifact-leaning queue or draft format. So as always, thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you back next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>